All right, what's going on, guys? It is your boy TKD Winter here, back here at Vision Source. And over the weekend, we did get a little glimpse at some really cool VR tech that could be coming to PSVR 2. But before that, of course, look at the date on the upload of this video. It is May the 4th for my Star Wars fans out there, for my PlayStation Star Wars fans, my two most favorite things in the world. Uh, a big, of course, may the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day. And we're going to talk about a Star Wars game that is particularly coming to the PlayStation platform that you may not have heard of. So, of course, amongst all of the festivities today, we, of course, on Disney Plus, got the last episode of Clone Wars, which was amazing, as well as Rise of Skywalker up on there as well. Some really cool Jedi Fallen Order updates that I feel like my good friend Christian did a great video on. I will link it down below in the description. He did a great breakdown going into Fallen Order, how they added new, like, combat challenges, and there's even, like, a Cal Kessis Inquisitor skin, all that cool stuff. I'll link that below in the description for his breakdown of it. There's also, I think, lightsabers again in Fortnite, but one of the biggest things we got, you know, today involving PlayStation is the upcoming PSVR game that uh, will be coming to the platform, and this has already been out for a few, uh, honestly, months, I think, maybe years at this point, point. it's been out for a while, but it's called Vader Immortal, a Star Wars VR series, and so this has been out for, I believe you could only play it on Oculus hardware, I think, or maybe like any other hardware, and so what it is really, it is a three-part, you know, series that I don't, I don't believe you play as Vader, you may play as Vader, like maybe a little bit in the actual game, but I think you play as a potential uh, runner-up to being his apprentice, I think is what it is, honestly, I'm not 100% sure, because I've been kind of waiting to see, you know, what happens with this game, and I haven't really just had the time to look into it, and really like watch a playthrough of it because I know that there's playthroughs out there that exist that really uh you know show off in gameplay and everything the actual story of Vader Immortal but I know there's a lot of a lot of really cool stuff in here that uh it, it's really cool that it is coming to PSVR uh it's something that I didn't see coming and I don't think a lot of people saw it coming either uh because it was on Oculus you know however like I said before but that is coming during the summer of 2020 this summer so look out for that um it is interesting that we have this announcement and you know we still don't know the fate of Iron Man VR at this point, you know, kind of weird, but I digress. This is a very, very cool grab. Uh, it's very, very cool to have here on the Star Wars Day. And, uh, you know, while I don't have a PSVR unit right now, uh, you know, bought or purchased or whatever, I do intend on buying PSVR 2 whenever that releases. But there are some really cool things that came out, like I said before in the intro, that there are some really cool tech videos that have came out uh, that are believed straight from Sony that uh, really show off some really cool technology that they may be implementing into PSVR 2. So I'm going to cut to my footage live reacting to that whole thing. This video over here is from Upload VR, and this is, of course, the prototype PlayStation Next Gen VR controllers with finger tracking. Okay, so I'll link the video down below in the description, but I did want to just react to it and see how it looks because I've seen uh, some screenshots of it, but I kind of wanted to give my honest impressions and like how it looks overall. So this is the ev this is the evaluation of machine learning techniques for hand pose s estimation on handheld device with proximity sensors so, so this is of course uh from sony and entertainment and uh i want to see how this goes because like if this is really because you gotta think we haven't had a different vr controller sent to ps3 so no external sensor used so this is just this is it wow huh it, it has a thumb too okay so interesting so there, there, there isn't like an external vision or like another camera that's like watching the hand. It's all from that unit. Whoa, and you even prove it right here. We recorded training data sets using an optical tracking system. Interesting. All joint positions, control position, and center values are recorded. So they have the little dots and they kind of like build it into, I guess, the, the sensory kit that, you know, will let it... Open, close, trumpet, bend, one, two, three, four, spread. Wow, we recorded 11 different poses for, from 12 subjects of various hand sizes. Interesting, okay, so this is all just data. They're just getting all this data and information to be able to better track and better process that, all right, like what the, what the user is trying to do is this move, whatever. Oh, this is cool, okay. Accurate estimation of arbitrary hand pose enables dexterous manipulation. Wow, so you can see him picking up stuff and looking at his hand. Dude, this looks cool. 
Okay, this this finger tracking stuff is sick. And looks like he's wearing a HTC Vive on there, which is interesting. Uh, but you know, of course they probably don't have the testing working on the PSVR maybe. But like this is this is interesting stuff, man. He's even able to balance it like that right there and have it not and and it seems like you would have to do a lot of work with like perception, like in terms of like how far things are uh, in the world from your hand location. Your virtual hand location, I guess, and how that all translates. I'm sure that's hella, that's 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 hella difficult, I guess, to to portray. But this is really interesting. Hmm. Uh, and intuitive interaction using five fingers of both hands in VR. This is interesting. Okay. Wow. This is yo. This looks really neat. This is really really neat. Huh. And it seems like he's able to make it like super precise, you know, movements and stuff like that. The natural movement of five fingers also helps nonverbal communications. I wonder what the final build is going to I mean, I really hope this hits market, man. I mean, if they are willing to put this out and test all this, like, like it seems like we may be getting this. Hopefully, you know, hopefully this looks really, really neat. That was cool how I was able to see failure case. The uh, difficulties remain in estimating some specific poses, out, poses away from the surface. So it looks like they can't do that. You can't cross over fingers. It looks like not yet. The subjects can't track that. It looks like it can't track like a like a, a OK sound. Also, the virtual hand of mismatched shape causes fingertip misalignment. Interesting. OK, so we're like seeing where, you know, the Centers aren't doing the best job, but I would say this is this is great as it is. Normal palm, our prototype is durable to small signal changes caused by sweaty palms. So wait, so interesting. So so sweaty palms could cause an issue with the signal? Let's see it. Cause I don't know about you guys, man, but sometimes in games, yo, I'd be I'd be having sweaty palms sometimes. Our prototype is okay, so there is him like kind of simulating a sweaty palm. And let's see how the sensor uh is looking like. Let's see how it reacts to this sweaty palm here. I'm not seeing it affected a little. Oh, uh, I guess a little bit. Is there about the small signal changes caused by sweaty palms? Yeah, like it looks like it's holding up, you know. Our foreign conductive objects such as rings and watches. Oh, okay, cool. So interesting. So it looks like they were able to, you know, still track the fingers when you have like rings on or like a watch on or, or or different stuff like that as well as when there's sweating i thought it was saying that you know they're having issues with with uh you know if your palms are sweaty the finger tracking but it looks like they've solved all those things and wow she's a lot of you know homegirl got a lot of rings on okay homegirl has a lot of side pieces out there what's going on and that watch there's diamonds on it let me stop but it looks cool it looks really good this looks neat this looks really is that nathan drake's ring on her ring finger you already know what it is sick parvis magna you know what i'm saying sick sick parvis. okay non the material small floating conductive materials has slight effects on estimation accuracy wait where is it oh it is it the straps that they're looking at i'm not sure which is the non-conductive material interesting interesting oh Oh, so when they put copper on it, it's a little bit more accurate, maybe? Interesting. Okay. However, grounding materials above electrodes cause problematic error. Okay, so let's see. So when let's let's see a difference here. Grounded. So Yeah, okay. We can see where the middle finger is a little bit bent. Interesting. Guys, that was really cool man that was neat hopefully we get some attack in psvr guys but that was a little sneak peek but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below all right guys so that was pretty much it what are you guys thoughts on vader Amolo coming to psvr this summer as well as that really impressive uh you know finger tracking next gen vr controllers that we had 
going on upload vr's video today let me know thoughts in the comments below make sure also while you are down there to check out your description where you can find our twitter our discord as also anchor link to zoom on from content and podcast so remember that of course being safe slot podcast as well as road to part two it's spicing up we are starting the last of us stream series this week get hyped it's going down if you missed it check out the twitter ps source vids all details over there on twitter but if you've enjoyed that as well stay subscribed to places and stores to keep up with the latest and greatest in play edition. Thank you for watching, and as always, greatness awaits.